The smaller the creature is, the lesser it receives attention from us. However, even though these aquatic animals are very small, be reminded that they are undoubtedly beautiful and need the best care from an aquarium keeper like you. And speaking of tiny, in today's video, we will highlight shrimp as our little aquarium species, who needed a big safekeeping. You might wonder how you can enhance this species' life. You might find it difficult to think of something, but the truth is there's one effortless action you can do to make your shrimp's life better. Add the appropriate plants to their aquarium. Eager to know more about these plants? Stay with me until the end of this video, because today at Aquarium Store Depot, we will discover the 15 best plant choices for your shrimp tank. Relax now, cause we're about to start. Aquarium plants are a must-have for shrimp tanks that already have a lot of tank decorations, but still want to add extra beauty and security to keep the shrimp secure from predators and other larger aggressive fish. Live aquarium plants require maintenance, and keeping them alive in a shrimp tank is challenging. Therefore, some people avoid keeping them there. However, aquarium plants are very beneficial to freshwater tanks, especially shrimp tanks for a variety of reasons, such as being their ideal hiding spot, a lifetime nutritional source, something that will improve their water quality and filtration, provide them with an atmosphere similar to their natural habitat, and for aquarium aesthetics. Freshwater shrimp get along well with many different plants. Low maintenance plants are optimal for shrimp tanks because most tanks are not thoroughly filtered. So what plant species can you include with these shrimp species? Let's move on to the first plant on the list. The Christmas Moss. Christmas Moss, often known as Xmas Moss, is among the most well-liked freshwater aquarium plants. It adds beauty and ease of maintenance to your shrimp tank and an atmosphere of the Christmas season too. Your Christmas Moss's gorgeous, feathery branching appearance resembles a Christmas tree. Consequently, it is known as Xmas Moss. However, I selected this plant for your shrimp tank because it is shrimp friendly. With its thick foliage and a fantastic environment for foraging, Xmas moss makes it possible for your shrimp to live stress-free lives in your aquarium. The dense vegetation should make it easier for the young shrimp to hide and find cover from potential predators. Christmas moss is a resilient and adaptable plant, but it still has some requirements. Low light levels are the minimum for these watery plants. Plant growth, however, requires more than that. As a result, Christmas moss has extensive branching and a compact growth rate and thrives in high to moderate lighting. Additionally, this plant thrives in a photo period of 8 to 10 hours per day, which mimics the natural environment and ensures the moss receives plenty of light for photosynthesis. The second is the Java moss. Java moss is my favorite freshwater aquarium plant for tanks out of all the mosses. This is because beginners can maintain and care for it easily. Furthermore, Java moss is the perfect aquarium plant for shrimp, particularly if young shrimp require somewhere to hide. Java moss is simple to grow plant with little lighting needs. Surprisingly, Java moss can endure shallow light levels and still grow. For instance, keeping it in low light will make it grow lankier the growth is denser in bright lighting, which is advantageous for your shrimp tank. However, Java moss may develop algae on it in areas with solid illumination, which some of your shrimp will eat. As a result, it is one of the best plants for shrimp tanks. Now going third, the flame moss. Flame moss is a lovely aquarium plant that works well in shrimp tanks. It is most renowned for its brilliant flame-like appearance that gives your shrimp tanks a beautiful look. Flame moss is a creeping plant with numerous advantages for your shrimp tank. First off, it requires little care and is simple to maintain. Growing in various water conditions requires no additional lighting or carbon dioxide. Additionally, it gives newborn shrimp and other small fish places to hide, thus lowering stress in the tank. Flame moss can photosynthesize without highlighting, just like Java moss does. Around eight hours a day of low to moderate brightness benefits it. If you like miniature looking plants, the mini weeping moss is the perfect fit for you. Weeping moss is a terrific option for your aquarium if you have a nano shrimp tank. Because of its dense flora, 
which gives your shrimp ideal hiding places. Like other plants, weeping moss enhances and maintains the water's quality while providing enough oxygen for your shrimp to survive. Additionally, it promotes the development of shrimp in a microtank. Although carbon dioxide is not required for this moss to grow correctly, it is advised to assist the plant in developing more quickly. Weeping moss is one of the fantastic plants for shrimp tanks that are beginner-friendly and can grow in harsh water conditions. Weeping moss needs sufficient light to develop and thrive, thus the lighting should be moderate to high. To encourage plant growth, I advise purchasing LED planted aquarium lights. Proper water changes, quality water conditions, carbon dioxide levels, food and diet must also be maintained for the plant to grow more quickly. Another plant to look at in the market, the Subwasatang. It might surprise you to learn that Subwasatang is a fern with a fractured structure that resembles a liverwort, even though many people think it is a liverwort. Subwasatang doesn't require any specific tank decorations to adhere to and grows into a lovely shrub. If you don't like tank decorations, that's a plus. If you want, it will happily develop into a floating plant. Subwasatang is the best plant for a shrimp tank since it has more surface area than any of the mosses. It develops slowly when first introduced. Once established, though it grows well. Subwasatang like moderate lighting and performs admirably in low lighting. The plant also doubles up as a toxin remover. It is known for removing heavy metals something that we know can be toxic to our prized shrimp. You've heard of this next plant before, so I expect that you know the water wisteria now. This plant will make any aquarist successful because it is so simple to maintain and care for and adapts well to a wide range of temperatures. To keep the health and prosperity of this plant, some attention is required. The most great thing about water wisteria is that it's a stem plant that's simple to grow Offer lots of hiding places for newborn shrimp, and shrimp love to explore the lovely leaves. I advise supplementing high-quality fertilizer to ensure the water wisteria thrives. Water wisteria can adapt to all lighting conditions, although the outcomes will vary. The plant will develop slowly in low light. Adding a little carbon dioxide is crucial, if you're keeping it in low light, to ensure its survival. The growth will be faster if you want to use medium light, and you may need to trim the plant once each week. However, water wisteria can also thrive in bright light since it encourages the leaves to be more pointed and have a larger surface area, which is perfect for a shrimp tank. Let's talk about the seventh plant on the list, the Java Fern. Java Fern fronds develop into lovely twisted leaves that picky shrimps love to hide in. The Java Fern is a low-maintenance plant that can tolerate various water conditions while producing lovely leaves. It's advisable to support the rhizome of this plant by tying it to driftwood or any other tank accent. The Java Fern resembles the natural environment of shrimp because of its low light needs, making it one of the best plants for shrimp tanks. Surprisingly, Java Fern only requires minimal light, which is more than plenty for most aquarium lighting. It's also one of the freshwater aquarium plants that can endure brackish water up to a salinity of 1.009. Next item on the list, the Anubias. People have long believed that Anubias are harmful to shrimp and other invertebrates. As a result, many aquarists hesitated to purchase Anubias for their shrimp tank. That is untrue though. Anubias are very secure and safe for your tank of shrimp. It's a lovely plant that grows slowly and offers good cover for your nanotank. Above all, it's a simple plant to maintain and care for, making it ideal for beginners. Anubias may grow in a range of lighting situations. However, moderate to high light is necessary for it to thrive at its best. It will slowly grow and develop algae on its leaves, which your shrimp will love to eat. I bet you already know this next plant we have. It is called pearweed. Pearlweed is your best option if you have a nano shrimp tank and want natural aquarium plants that are slow growing and low maintenance. It offers a lot of places for your baby shrimp to hide. Pearlweed is frequently a favorite companion for shrimp varieties like red cherry, snowball, blue velvet and green jade shrimp. Because it offers cover for your baby shrimp or fish and shields them from predators or excessive light, Pearlweed is one of the carpeting plants that most small fish enjoy swimming with. 
It is also good to note that pearlweed thrives in bright to medium illumination. The plant may grow unevenly, have poor quality leaves and roots, and exhibit weak colors in low light. Tenth on the list, the Red Tiger Lotus. Due to its stunning look and ease of care, the Tiger Lotus or Red Tiger Lotus is one of the best plants for shrimp tanks. Tiger Lotus added shade and grazing areas would be perfect for your shrimp. However, a mature Tiger Lotus plant can grow extremely large and may impede the movement of your shrimp. It is advised that this plant be kept in a tank, at least 10 gallons in size, so that the shrimp can move around the tank without restriction. Tiger Lotus should have access to a nutrient-rich substrate to thrive as a bulb plant. I also suggest applying liquid fertilizer and root tablets to give the plant nutrients. The Tiger Lotus is an adaptive plant that can live in various lighting situations. However, it is advised that your shrimp tank have appropriate light, since it thrives in medium to high light to help it develop and grow healthy. For better outcomes, I recommend installing a full-spectrum LED light. Going 11th on our topic, I bet you want to try purchasing the hornwort plant. As a floating plant that offers plenty of shade to your baby shrimp and small fish that need shade and safety, hornwort is a favorite among shrimp, including red cherry shrimp, black rose, blue velvet, green jade, and rill shrimp. The water may get polluted because hornwort is a rapidly expanding aquatic plant that drops its leaves. The amount of light the hornwort receives will determine its hue. You'll notice a lovely lush dark green shade on your healthy leaves in optimal lighting. Only eight hours a day of mild light are suitable for hornwort growth. This next plant called Bucephalandra is something you will always remember for sure. Because it can cling to rocks and driftwood, Bucephalandra, often known as the boost plant, is a tremendous live aquarium plant if you're searching for something amusing and colorful. Additionally, because many Bucephalandra species are small, they are appropriate for shrimp and smaller tanks. The boost plant may develop more effectively in medium to high light, keeping the colors brilliant and fresh. Unfortunately, the outcomes under low light are unsatisfactory. Similarly, CO2 is not required, but is strongly advised for new leaf development and improved plant growth. Let's now jump to our 13th plant, Cryptocorine. Suppose you want to provide your shrimp more foraging space or give your freshwater aquarium more aesthetic appeal. In that case, Cryptocorine is an excellent plant for shrimp tanks, whether a novice or an experienced aquarist. The best feature of this plant is that it can endure various lighting situations, water characteristics and water column heights. For optimal growth, ensure this plant has a nutrient-rich substrate. Keep the rhizome exposed and above the substrate to prevent the plant from decaying. Cryptocorine can adjust to various illumination setups. However, this plant may flourish with only modest light. Next is the Vallisneria plant. Vallisneria are those quickly expanding plants that could become too large for some aquariums. However, if you have enough room, it's a lovely plant with a fresh grassy appearance for shrimp tanks. Vals in particular make excellent shrimp tank plants since they can transform your tank into an attractive dense forest that may need timely trimming. Additionally, it offers young shrimp excellent protection from predators Purchasing Vallisneria plants is a must if you have a tall tank. Vals don't require particularly intense lighting. They thrive in dim to mediocre lighting. Feel free to inject CO2 and maintain your CO2 levels at 30 ppm if you're too determined to make it grow into a large leafy plant. And finally, the last plant on our list is the peacock moss. A moss that resembles Christmas moss but is less puffy in texture is called peacock moss. It is beautiful for shrimp and any fish you intend to keep, just like Christmas moss. It can either be fastened to hardscaping or allowed to grow afloat. It is a resilient aquarium plant that can withstand a range of circumstances. Trimming will be relatively easy, even if the plant is flourishing in a CO2 pumped atmosphere. Because they also have moderate growth rates, they don't require a lot of light as most mosses do. Only use expensive lighting systems if you intend to place the plants in the bottom of the tank because the light output will be too much for these plants at higher heights.
Phew, that's plenty of information we got there. But to be honest, that's not all. If you visit our official website at www.aquariumstoredepot.com, you will face a bunch of information about this topic, such as the proper way to choose a plant for your tank, the detailed benefits of having one, and all the answers to frequently asked questions. You can also visit our YouTube channel and like this video, or smash that subscribe button to be updated with our latest topic in the hobby. Your shrimp tank would benefit significantly from the addition of live aquarium plants. However, some plants can coexist with your shrimps because of their water requirements and other factors. Always make intelligent decor and plant selections. If this video helped you, comment your thoughts below and we will read it one by one. Till our next topic, fish keepers, thank you for watching.